Clinton County man was found guilty in the murder of this Ohio State graduate. Good evening, I'm Rob Williams. Trisha is off tonight. Philip Haley shot and killed 23-year-old Zachary Parrott in December of 2021. Our Courtney King spoke with his parents in an interview you will see only right here on Fox 19 Now. She joins us live from Clinton County. Rob, we're live here outside the Clinton County Courthouse because this is where Philip Haley was found guilty by a jury of his peers on Friday. He was found guilty for murder and felonious assault. And we did speak with Zachary Parrott, Zachary Parrott's father, Ken, who tells us the trial was really hard on him and his family because they had to relive Zach's murder. But he says the verdict and sentence gave him some peace. Most painful thing a person could experience is losing a child. For the past 13 months, Ken Parrott has been grieving the loss of his son, 23-year-old Zachary Parrott. He was very much a, a well-loved man, taken right in the beginning of his prime. The Clinton County Sheriff's Office says Zach was shot and killed here on the 6600 block of State Route 729 in Sabina in December of 2021. Every day, every moment of my waking existence in the past 13 months, has been th thoughts of Zach and what happened to him. Deputies arrested Philip Haley after they found him outside the home. Probably the most, definitely the most d difficult thing of my life. On Friday, a jury found Haley guilty of murder and felonious assault as well as a weapons charge. He was sentenced to three years on the weapons charge and 15 to life for murder. We are satisfied that he's going to be put away for a very long period of time, um, at least 18 years and, and up to life, which is what he deserved. Ken says Zach had recently graduated from Ohio State and was about to get engaged before he was killed. We're looking forward to, to having a future together, and, and that was all tragically taken away from us. The family is from the Bosiris area, but Ken says Zach was working at an outlet mall in Clinton County while he was looking for his dream job. Believe it or not, he wanted to be a news reporter. Really? Yeah. Do you think he would have been a good reporter? He'd have been a great reporter. Yeah. Very charismatic, uh, very well spoken. Ken also tells us that they've started a scholarship fund in honor of Zach that will go towards someone in their community who wants to study agriculture at Ohio State. He says so far they've raised more than $30,000. We're live in Clinton County. Courtney King, Fox 19 Now. Whoever.